so in today's lecture we are going to uh, study uh, the next type of matrix so let me take a matrix a given by say 1 0 0 minus 1 what is this matrix exactly doing so if i multiply the vector x y with 1 0 0 minus 1 what am i going to get i'm going to get x and 0 x and minus y so this means that this matrix takes a point x comma y and uh, puts it where it puts it x comma minus y so this was the original point this was x comma y and matrix has taken that point to this particular point so what is this uh, meaning the x coordinate is remaining the same the y coordinate has only changed okay so this means the point is reflected along which axis reflection by uh, along the x-axis or reflection through the x-axis so such a matrix is actually nothing but reflection through x-axis okay in in other words if i take the matrix if i interchange the rules of one and minus one if i put minus one and one over here what is going to happen if i apply a point x y on this matrix a means if i apply x y on minus one zero zero minus one then i'm going to get a minus x and a y here so it equivalently means that when i'm having a point x y in the space okay what will this matrix what is x a x is this object okay x means this point capital x will happen to x times a the point will become here the x coordinate will become negative and y coordinate will remain same so this means that this uh, matrix is doing what it is uh, actually deflection through what deflection through the y axis fine now if i uh, put up a if i interchange the rules of one and one so if i take this particular matrix let me just write it the one and one on the anti-diagonal so let me put one and one here then what will this particular type of matrix do so if i take x y and if i multiply with the matrix 0 1 1 0 and what will i get 0 x plus 1 y will become y and 1 x plus y will become 1 x plus 0 y will become x so this means that it has the point originally was x y the point originally was x y and after i multiply this matrix to it if i apply transformation a on that matrix the point has become actually y comma x okay so what has this uh, matrix what what has this matrix done actually so it will not be clear when you do this by taking an arbitrary x comma y so instead of taking an arbitrary x comma y if i apply uh, 2 3 on that matrix I will get 3 2 because x y becomes y x if i apply 4 1 on that matrix it will become 1 4 if i apply 2 2 on that matrix 2 2 on that matrix will give you 2 2 so this gives me a hint that let me write even if i apply 1 0 on that matrix i will get what i will get 0 1 so this point 1 0 is getting transferred here okay so point 4 comma 1 which was here suppose 4 1 is here it is becoming what it is becoming 1 comma 4 so you see now but the point 2 comma 2 where is 2 comma 2 2 comma 2 is somewhere here this is 2 and suppose this is 2 okay so what happens to the point 2 comma 2 the point 2 comma 2 remains as it is so i understand that this matrix is nothing but doing what this is reflection along the uh, line which is this line this line is y equal to x so and um, now it means that uh, this anti-diagonal 1 1 is a matrix it is also a reflection matrix but it is reflection through the line y equal to x okay if if you change the signs if you throughout change the signs of that matrix means if i take a equal to 0 minus 1 minus 1 0 again if i apply the point x y to that matrix 
what am I going to get is 0 x minus y and minus x plus 0 y which is be minus y minus x so this means that if I take a point 1 comma 1 it will be transferred to what it will be transferred to minus 1 minus 1 if I get, take a point 1 comma 2 it is going to get transferred at minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 okay so now which type of reflection is this so we understand that this is the reflection about what about the line y equal to minus x so when i make both the signs negative i observe that this matrix is actually representing a reflection matrix through uh, through what this is the reflection through y equal to minus x line okay now sometimes there is a matrix which is given of this form i will take one and one here 1001 0, 0, 1. on the diagonal i'll take one and i'm putting a, a factor c here okay when i put a factor c c is some number which can be two three four five anything so if i multiply this uh, matrix c with a point one zero c one what am i going to get so this is uh, this is this will become x plus y c and this will become what zero x plus one y so this is meaning that x plus y is getting transferred to x plus y c and y okay this type of thing is called as shearing this is called shearing means for example if i take a point if i take a suppose i take a unit square 0 1 0 then 1 1 and 0 0 and let me take the particular matrix suppose i take in particular i take a c is also one so this will be become 1 1 1 0 1 1 so i'm applying this matrix now so what will happen if i am take 0 0 if i multiply 0 0 to this particular matrix i'm going to get 0 0 so that is this is the image of 0 0 when i take 1 0 and i apply 1 0 here i'm going to get here uh, here i'm going to get 1 and this is also going to remain 0 okay so 1 0 will remain at 1 0 Okay, what will happen to when I apply one comma one? When I apply one comma one. This will become what will this become? This will become one plus one will become two, and this will become one. So it has become two comma one. So it has gone here. And when I apply the point zero one, the last point is zero one. When I apply a zero comma one here, what am I going to? get when i apply zero and one this will become one and zero and zero this will also one so this will become one comma one so you see what has happened it is stretched like this okay you are going to catch this and you're going to catch it by your hands you want to pull it in this way but zero zero is remaining as it is so it is getting stretched or it is getting sheared this is called as what this is called as shearing uh, by how many units are you shearing you're going to change the format that it will get distorted okay along the about the x-axis okay so i hope now the shearing matrix is also clear if i change the uh, if, if if i change the c position of c if I change the matrix A as saying 1, 1, 0, and C, now what will this be? This will be shearing, okay? And uh, it, it is said to be shearing in which coordinate? It is said to be shearing in the Y coordinate. The earlier matrix was uh, shearing with distortion along uh, uh, what? Distortion in the X coordinate okay by what factor by the factor c the c is called as a factor okay by and by whom is this uh, shearing 
because this is a slightly you know this terminology is slightly slightly tedious to understand this is shearing in the y coordinate by x okay and what is the factor with the factor factor c and what was the earlier thing that i should have uh, told you properly this is shearing in the x coordinate by what uh, by x because you see uh, this is uh, by x by y the sharing is done by whom sharing is done by y okay and by what factor by the factor c now one of the most important um, things that two dimensional transformations that we are studying uh, is that if you take a transformation t so i'm going to call it my t and if it is given by say a b c d the very good property that these transformations share is that suppose i am taking a straight line okay and if i apply a transformation to that point or object okay a straight line what do you mean by apply i'm going to multiply the first point to t i'm going to get an image of this a is has image a dash and when i apply the second point to that point uh, to that matrix i'm multiplying b to that matrix i will get another point as b dash the good thing is that straight lines all these points between a and b we what are joining a and b they also are transferred to what they also are transferred to the straight line joining a dash and b dash okay so so what am i trying to tell you is that when you have a 2d two dimensional transformation what it does it transforms straight line to straight line okay i hope you understand the importance of this okay to straight lines so when we let me write it properly okay so it is not it, it doesn't me it doesn't happens in this way life could have been very difficult if if this would have happened okay if i'm taking a b and if i'm joining them and and if i take a, the image of a comes up to be this which is a dash and image of b comes up to be this which is b dash and when i take the image of this when i take the image of this point c it shouldn't happen that c went here okay c dash went here otherwise this will not become a straight line so it doesn't happens this way okay so what 2d uh, two dimensional transformation share is that this point c cannot come here it has to come where it has to come between the line joining what a dash and b dash exactly not only this if c is the midpoint of this particular line then c dash will also be the midpoint of uh, that particular line so even uh, it i mean to say that it only doesn't transforms straight lines to straight lines or straight segments to straight line segments but it even transforms midpoints to midpoints so this is this is called as midpoint transformations okay so these are mid i mean all two dimensional transformations which we have studied right now okay they are midpoint transformations okay so means midpoints uh, for a if uh, are transformed to midpoint so if a is a two dimensional transformation then midpoint of a line segment ab is transformed to midpoint of its image who is its image its image is a dash b dash okay so this is one of the very wonderful properties that these uh, two dimensional transformations share now related to this if i try to solve some small problems okay let us try to solve some problem suppose i take the first problem okay uh, what will you what will happen if i apply uh, scaling in x coordinate by factor 4 on the point so let me take a point minus 1 comma 4 what will happen so what will be the answer so clearly what is the matrix that i am going to write here it is the scaling matrix in the x coordinate right do you remember what was the scaling matrix in the x coordinate it was a1 and 0 elsewhere so what is the factor what is the factor over here so the matrix will be 4 0 0 1 okay so this is the uh, this is the matrix which will does do the scaling 
in the x coordinate by factor 4 and what is the question asked to me what will happen to this point what will happen to minus 1 comma 4 once you apply this particular matrix what where will this point go it is not a very difficult task you just have to multiply that minus 1 4 to that particular matrix 4 0 0 1 okay and what you will get is here you will get a minus 4 and you will get a 4 so this point will be transferred in the third quadrant by minus 4 comma 4 so this will be the answer of our question that when i apply this scaling matrix to this point the the point will eventually go at which point it will go at minus 4 comma 4 suppose i take one more problem what will happen if i do a scaling uh, by in x coordinate by say so you, the factor can be anything 0 0.02 on some point 1 comma 1 okay what will happen so you see that uh, when when the object suppose this is the object and if i multiply if if the scaling factor is suppose 2 what happens it becomes two times larger but if the scaling uh, so this is called as what this is called as dilation okay means it will expand but if this factor 2 is removed and if i write a half here what will happen the object will in the x direction in the x part it will become small so it will get compressed so this is called contraction so why am i taking here uh, this here because here i see 0 0.02 is a number which is actually smaller than one so if this number a is smaller than one then it is called as contraction and if a is larger than one then it is actually called as dilation it means the object expands okay or if a is less than one the object compresses itself and it is called as contraction so obviously the matrix t that we are going to work with 0 0.02 and 1 here this is the scaling matrix and i'm going to apply it on the point 1 comma 1 to get the answer a star if i call this point as a okay and we are going to multiply these two things so this will be 0 0.02 and this will be 1 as it is okay let me go to one more example let us now take a, a line okay let let a be some point suppose i take a is equal to 5 comma 6 and b is equal to some say some minus 4 comma 4 okay i'm going to take these two points okay and uh, i'm going to then scale the line segment uniformly by eight units okay i'm going to um, i'm going to scale i mean i'm going to dilate it okay and then i want to find what i want to find the midpoint of the dilated segment okay Mid midpoint of the dilated segment a star b star so how will i do right so what i will do is i will use here two two things that, that are known to me first of all line will go to line this line will become big line because it will be expanded eight times okay kaisa hoga mujhe pata nahi but it is it will become big and eight times the original size right this is a and this is b then i'll get a star and i will get a b star okay and then i know that what is the midpoint of uh, two points given by if if the two points sorry if the two points here are x1 y1 and this b, b star is x2 y2 what is the midpoint of uh, this the midpoint is x1 plus x2 upon 2 and y1 plus y2 upon 2 so this is the way i will find the midpoint okay this is one technique this is one of the techniques which you can do so you know how to find a star you just apply the matrix a uh, the, uh, the the point on the matrix t who is matrix t in this question the matrix t in this question is scaling uniformly by eight units so the matrix t is what 8800 right because it is a a and then i will apply a, a on that matrix i will get a star i will apply b on that matrix and i will get what i will get b star this is one of the techniques right now i hope you can do this calculation okay well but what we can also do is now we know that uh, i have just told you that midpoint always gets transformed to midpoint 
So instead of finding A star B star, I, what I will do is I will immediately find the midpoint of the given line segment itself. Okay, the what is the midpoint of this given line segment? I know the given line segment is uh, five six and minus four four. So what will be the first co coordinate of the midpoint? Five minus four is one one upon two, and second is six minus four upon two is two upon two is one. So this is the midpoint M, and this midpoint M will transfer to the midpoint. Directly, so I will not find the image of A. I will not find the image of uh, B. I really don't need this. I will just take and find M star directly. So what is M star equal to? M star will be one half and one applied on the matrix A and A. So this midpoint will go to the midpoint, and that will be how much? That will be four comma. That will be four comma. Eight, right? Am I correct? Okay, fine. Now let us uh, take a question. Suppose I have a point A which is minus one, minus three, and B is a point suppose three comma four, uh, and okay, and AB is a line segment, okay, and I am going to transform this AB using the matrix T. I am giving you the matrix T now. The matrix T is minus one, four, four comma. Four and two. Okay, now what type of matrix is this? This is any arbitrary transformation. Okay, it is not scaling, rotation, or it is not shearing, it is not reflection, nothing. Okay, what I want to find is I want to find the midpoint of I want to find the midpoint of A star B star. Okay, so it is clear that midpoint of A B will will what? Will map to midpoint of A star B star, correct? So, what is what is midpoint of A B? So, the midpoint of A B will be given by what? It will be given by minus one plus three, which is two by two, which is one. Okay, and minus three plus four, which is one divided by two, so it will be half. I hope you know the. I will write the formula again because I am teaching you this for the very Rest time. So okay. So this is the formula that I have applied for these two. So this is the uh, midpoint of AB. So to get M star, I will apply uh, point AB. Uh, the M M. What is the point M? Let me write. It is M into T. So means it is one and half. And I am going to multiply it with the matrix minus one four and four comma two. So I will get a. Uh, Point over here. That point will be the midpoint of my segment A star B star, which comes up to be one, one and five. You can please, uh, please check this. Okay. Let's go to the next question now. Suppose I am taking a line segment which is A given by four nine, and B is the point three two. Okay, and I am going to. Scaled, so this is so AB is the line segment, and I'm going to scale it uh, uniformly by three units. Okay, and then I'm going to find the midpoint of uh, the image. What is the midpoint of the image? A star, B star. So this is a very simple sort of question. So what is the matrix? T given by it is uniform scaling by three units, so it is three zero zero three. And uh, what is the midpoint of uh, AB? The midpoint of AB is given by four plus three, which is uh, four plus three, seven by two. So this is seven by two, and nine plus two is eleven by two. So this will be midpoint of AB, which is I'm calling M, which is seven by two and eleven by two. And therefore, what is M star equal to? M star is M into matrix T, which is nothing but seven by two, eleven by two. Multiplied by the matrix three zero zero three, and you will again get a point which will be the midpoint of that particular line segment, which is seven by three is twenty one by two, and this is eleven by three into three is thirty three by two. So this will be the solution of our question. Okay. So let us now discuss about something called as a rotation. Matrix.
we will take a point in the xy plane and that point is xy and this point uh, xy is making some angle with respect to the x axis so that angle i'm going to call phi and then i will rotate this point by an angle theta so i'm going to rotate that point by angle theta this point i'm going to call p and this point i'm going to call p dash and this is uh, let me call it x star y star okay let us call that x star y star now this point x we know that every point in the two dimensional space can be written in the polar form so it is written by r cos phi why phi because this angle is phi and r sine phi right and this angle that i have rotated the from p to p dash that angle was theta right so can you tell me what is the uh, what are the coordinates of x star y star now if you look at the point x star y star okay that is p p star let us call it p star for our convenience so if i look at the point p star which is x star y star it is actually rotation by how much angle it is the complete rotation is by phi plus theta right so this will be what r cos uh, phi plus theta and this will be r sin phi plus theta correct so this means that x star is equal to r cos phi plus theta and if i look at expand this a little bit i will get r what is cos of a plus b cos a cos b minus sin a sin b so it is r cos phi cos theta minus r sin a sin b r sin phi sin theta correct which is equal to what this r cos phi is nothing but x so this is x cos theta and minus r uh, so not r what is r sin phi r sin phi is nothing but y so this is y sin theta so this is nothing but the answer of x star right what is the value of y star now y star is nothing but r sin theta plus phi sin phi plus theta what is sin a plus b sin a plus b sin a cos b plus cos a sin b so it is r sin a cos b plus r cos a sin b which is equal to r sin phi r sin phi was y and this is cos theta as it is plus what is r cos phi r cos phi is x sin theta so this is the value of y star okay and therefore when i look at x star and y star carefully okay what will i understand can i write these two equations x x star is equal to x cos theta minus y sin theta y star is equal to what y star is y cos theta plus x sin theta okay and when i write this in the form of x star y star what am i going to get i'm going to get x star y star is nothing but x y multiplied by which matrix so you see that it is x cos theta means it is cos theta minus y sin theta right and what about y star it is x sin theta so this x will multiply here so it is x sin theta plus y y is already there cos theta so this means that the matrix which transforms x y to x star y star is this matrix which is denoted by r theta okay that matrix is r theta this r theta matrix is very famous it is cos theta sin theta minus sin theta and cos theta what is the role of this matrix what is the job of this matrix this matrix has done it has taken a point 
P and it has rotated that point P about origin by how much angle? By the angle theta. Okay. The original phi jutha that has gone out of the picture now. Okay. So a point P has been rotated about the origin. Okay. By how much angle? By the angle theta degrees. Okay. So this matrix is the famous rotation matrix and not only rotated it has rotated in which fashion that is also very important in the anti-clockwise fashion okay this is very important for us now in the in which fashion anti-clockwise so if i want to rotate a point if i want to rotate a point in the clockwise fashion by uh, by an angle theta this is theta, this is point P and this is point P star. Then what matrix should I use? Then I will replace the theta by minus theta in the rotation matrix. So that matrix is called R minus theta. Means it will be what? The original of cos of minus theta. I am writing original matrix. Okay. Sine theta was there. So I am going to write sine of minus theta. Minus of sine of theta will be replaced by minus of sine of minus theta. Cos of minus theta will come here. But we know that cos minus theta is cos theta. So this will become cos theta as it is. This will become minus sine theta. This will become sine theta. And this will become as it is cos theta. So this will become the rotation matrix in which sense in the clockwise sense it is rotated. Okay. 